up, everybody? Good Thursday afternoon to you all. Or if you're on the uh, West Coast, I think it's still technically morning out there. A uh, little bit of a new setup, actually, today. Sort of-ish. Um, for my headset, I actually have it propped up in my uh, top desk drawer of my streaming desk setup here. With the uh, mouthpiece kind of propped up towards my mouth there. Uh, that way, it's not just resting on my neck to make it uncomfortable and so on. Uh, so hopefully that sounds good. Uh, hopefully it won't pick up any, like, background audio or whatever. Hopefully it also, you know, sounds okay. Uh, if need be, I can adjust it as we go. Um, same old stuff there, really. And yes, per usual, let me know how the uh, audio level sounds. Let me actually try to do a quick listen in real quick. Okay, it's just very low. I'll bump it up. I'll bump it up a notch or two there. Okay, that should be good. Okay, all right. So last uh, last stream on Tuesday there. Uh, what all did we do? Actually, quite a bit. Uh, we got picked up two more badges. One from Whitney and one from Morty. Took care of the uh, Burns Tower stuff. All the other stuff in the uh, National Park there as well. Um, and actually, oh, also, I did catch, um, Charizard last time and got him up to level 25. Uh, his name is Rascal in there. And actually, I'm gonna be going a little bit off track here than what I normally do. Usually, I go to the west towards, uh, Olivine City and Signwood City and all that fun stuff there. But actually, I'll be going east this time over to a Mahogany Town. Normally, again, I, I go westward. Probably dive in just to see what's there. Um, I do know it's a very, very expansive area, and actually, you can cut through here to go eastward if you want as well to uh, get to the other side. I probably won't do much in here, like at all, right now. I just want to see what's in here. So yeah, I'll fight a handful of battles and go from there. Uh, Tenth rule, we've all seen. You. Anything, like, unique or cool or whatever, I will, of course, fight. Beyond that, I don't really care. Uh, the team is at sits right now, so it's technically done for the time being, but of course that may very well change if you want to find later on. Really, for me to change my team, it would need to be something, like, super, super good. Um, probably not a legendary. Even though that would be obviously super good. Uh, but I already have Lugia, so keeping it to one legendary. Are you freaking kidding me? This is what, the third or fourth battle of the stream? And I have a Ho-Oh.
One thing though I wish the earlier games had that wasn't implemented until uh, Gen 5 was when you would still get EXP when, whenever you catch a Pokemon as well. I love how they did that. Just a cool little like quali- uh, well, can you really call it quality of life? It's, it's a handy thing to have. We'll just go with that. Uh, ho -oh. Um, being the, uh, rainbow bird Pokemon, I'll just actually just keep it straight and- straight and narrow and just name him Rainbow. May as well. It's also, by the way, a, a great sword for Chrono, and a Chrono Trigger. It needs to be said that it's- well, it's a special weapon the entire game. At least in the SNES version. I think in uh, the DS version he has the uh, Dream something. I forget what it's called. Dream Walker. Dream, Dream something or other. That is obscenely overpowered. It has a 90% critical hit rate. That's just stupid. In a good way, mind you. But even still, uh, that was a manky, by the way. It's a fighting type. It's a it's a manky. Am I doing the right way? Well, there's item over there. So. Team of six Pokemon. That would actually be really, really good. Uh, especially in a randomizer because you can just um, disperse your TMs evenly throughout all six team members. And plus, ho has great stats pretty much across the board. So you, you can have like three of them be your physical ho and then the three other be your um, special. I didn't feel like it. 
say he will have a mysterious. Nova Hypno. That's a fun little guessing game, actually. That is fun to do throughout a rando. Try to guess what Pokemon you know, are trying to have. Boosting moves with Baton Pass. Do you mean learn Baton Pass? I have no idea. But really, yeah, this thing is not meant to be not, not offensive. But in game, it will work just fine. Although, yeah, I will say if I find something new that I really, really want to use, I'll probably drop him first. that down to just one actually uh, there we go okay uh, how's that any better please hopefully yes <laughs> I do also apologize as well it's tricky for me to really test this out like on my own because I have the uh... okay that's much better okay good to hear good to hear but yeah, anyway, it is kind of hard for me to, like, do it solo there, just because I always have my stream muted um, like on, on my actual uh, browser here, just so I'm not hearing double audio and such. So thanks very much for that. I appreciate the assistance. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll get Lugia up next, and then we'll go from there. And I'm also trying to kind of, of course, be closer to the mouthpiece as well. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Let's see. Trying to nudge my chair up ever so slightly. But also, like, still be sitting comfortably. Okay, and actually, let me... I'm gonna bump it up a couple more notches here, just to be on the safe side. Eh, same old, same old, really. Not too much going on on my end. Still looking for uh, a job around here. Haven't had much luck yet. 
Um, it's only, we've only been down here like barely a month. So yeah, we're still doing fine. I'm still looking pretty much every day, really. I'm, I'm sure someplace will uh, will call soon. But uh, besides that, pretty normal stuff, uh, really. Taking care of the dogs. Um, we're working on other stuff as well, like writing, drawing, other games I'm playing off stream. So pretty standard stuff, really. How about you? That was also quite a mouthful there. <laughs> oh, Pompey. Oh, Pompey, why did you move? He wasn't here in my room earlier. Oh, thanks. I'm sure it, I'm sure something will come through in short order. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Ooh, a Gyarados. Nice. Yeah, I know Gyarados in Gen 2 is unfortunately not quite as powerful as he was in Gen 1. With um, a special split there, Gyarados got kind of uh, kind of hit there a little bit with a special stat being split into two. Even though he's still super powerful, by the way. <laughs> I didn't even catch that, actually. I need to play Breath of the Wild at some time. I actually I had it for a while, but at least for me, I just could not get into it, actually. Although, in my case, I've actually not really played many of the um, 3D Zelda games at all. Um... The latest series entry I've played is the um, Oracle games way, way back when. So, yeah, I have not played Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask or anything beyond those at all. I I should at some point, but I'm just so used to the, um, um, the you know, the 2D style of, like, um, Zelda 1, 2, Link to, Link to the Past, um, and then Link's Awakening and so on and so forth there. Uh, about to fight Magnus. It's always a fun fight there in Chrono Trigger. One of my favorites in the entire game. I actually should stream that at some point, too. Actually, I couldn't even do the DS version if I really felt like it. To show off all the uh, bonus content there. Well, that would not be a terrible idea. Not sure when I would get to it, but I, uh, I would at some point. Although, of course, when I start working, uh, that'll cut into my uh, stream schedule there. But I'll worry about that once I actually, you know, start working there. Whatever days I have off during the week would be when I would stream, of course. But for right now, if I didn't stream most every day, I'm fine with that. Obviously, it's 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 a uh, bleh, excluding weekends there. But yeah, I still have a ton of games I would like to stream eventually. Uh, plenty more Pokemon randomizers for one thing. Um, more Final Fantasy IV randomized for sure. Um, the aforementioned Chrono Trigger. Um, the list goes on, really. Oh yeah, it, it is one of the best songs in the entire game, like, bar none. Though, really, the entire soundtrack is outstanding, as is the entire game itself. I mean, it's, to this day, one of the best games ever made, and pretty much always will be. You really, <laughs> there's really no argument, it's just... One of those games that's, I mean, it, it holds up amazingly well still today. And it's been out for over 20 years now. And that kind of staying power is incredible. And also, it's extremely noteworthy as well. Uh, Poly World, who do I want to have to go up against you? Uh, Bordeaux Crobat, why not? Uh, let's see here. Trying to uh, check Discord real quick. Okay. Take a peek at that later on there. Alrighty, uh, Poliwhirl, we've seen you a thousand times already. Poliwhirls themselves are okay. I know Poliwrath is pretty cool, as well as uh, Politoad. I know they're uh, both quite useful there. Okay, that was easy enough there. What was... Oh, okay, just a normal email there. Oh yeah, Frog's theme is also one of one of the top tier songs as well. No argument there as well. Ooh, an Executor. These things are pretty rad, actually. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. You already leveled up, Lugia. Whoops. Now I'll just run. Whatever. The HP there would have been nice, but I would have rather have that all do go to a crow back there. But, uh, that's my goof. Okay, uh, let's see here. Hello! 
Ooh, the Lake of Rage. Yeah, I am going up there. I'll have to see what's up there. I wonder if I'll find a shiny. <gasps> you never know. Actually, if you play the game, you do know. So, ooh, a Machamp. And if, actually, no, I was gonna say, of course, I had in, had somebody else up top. I know Crowbat actually here does not have a flying type move. I forgot. Oops. <laughs> He'll eventually learn Wind Attack. I forget when. I really hope soon. I really do. Oh, nice little poison there. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, I do, I do like how they uh, did that there with the Lolan and Ziggy. So that thing is... He is humorous to look at. Does he still have the uh, same typing in the uh, in Sun and Moon? Is he still Grass and Psychic, or do they happen to change that at all? I haven't used one, so I can't say for sure. Uh, let me see. I want to fight one more battle real quick, just to get uh, Pro Battle level. Grass and Dragon? Oh, wow. I did not know that. That's also a really cool typing, by the way. I don't think there are too many Grass and Dragon types at all. Um, I think Mega Sceptile actually is Grass and Dragon. Um, but beyond that, I mean, th there might be more. Because, I mean, for, like, for Sun and Moon on, or well, not really onward, but like Sun and Moon or X and Y, there might be some in there. Pretty much, like, anything in Dragon is badass, in my opinion. Uh, let's go with Kingdra next. Not really too worried about my, uh, actual order here. Just whoever needs a level, they'll go up top. Simple as that. Any rare Pokemon? Uh, I have a Lugia. Does that count? It actually, well, yeah, it does. See, what do you have? <laughs> you have a Psyduck. That's, uh, that's not quite rare. Not even really close. Uh, let's see. We'll go for good old Sludge Bomb here. This might be a one-hit KO. I always like to see when that happens, just because I like having one-hit KOs just to make my life easier there. Okay, and we'll go for a quick headbutt. Why not? I love how crazy random Kingdra's moveset is right now. He has Rock Slide... Crab Hammer, Headbutt, and Sludge Bomb. I mean, they're all really good moves, and Kingdra has great stats for them all. So, I mean, it, it works. Oh, that's a nice setup there, for sure. I've actually have never gone shiny hunting myself before. I have seen just a handful of shinies um, throughout my entire Pokemon playing career. Can't recall what all they are. It, it's been quite a few years, but uh, one I do recall seeing is a shiny, either Tentacool or Tentacruel, I forget which, it was in a gold, silver, and crystal many, many years back. But uh, besides that, I, I'm sure there are more. Not too many, but probably a handful at least. And you have a Suicune! Wow! I want one! Yeah, Sweet Tunes in Gen 2 are awesome. Oh, well, <laughs> that would be great. I would uh, I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Alrighty, Sweet Tune is bulky as all hell on both sides, physically and specially there. So, a poison would be wonderful. Thank you. And yeah, at this point now, I can just wear it down. Yeah, Sweet Tune is absolutely a beast of a tank. If I actually had one myself, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, Suicune and Raikou especially are really, really top tier. But I think Entei got the shaft a little bit there. Just didn't really get as many good moves as his uh, partners here. Although he got better in later games, I think, with, you know, having physical fire moves there. I think, uh... I think he learns Flare Blitz, doesn't he? Maybe not naturally, but possibly in some way. That would be amazingly strong on him. Uh, I'm gonna pop a quick potion here real quick. Uh, actually, um, bum, but um, no, 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 super potion. That'll be fine. There we go. 
Alrighty, one more trainer over here. Although I do want to divert to the southwest real quick, just to uh, make a little detour. Uh, I think there's one more trainer there, and also a windy, foresty path there that leads to a TM, so I do want that, obviously. Ooh, a Flaffy. They are so cute. I do recall that, yep, I think that was in, uh, in Gen 4 that Entei got Sacred Fire. Although, I want to say that Entei's physical attack is higher than a special attack. At least it's a base stat for that anyway. I don't recall for sure. But I kind of want to say yes. And then Raikou would be his special attack stats higher than his physical attack. And then Suicune's kind of a mixed balance of both, I want to say. But obviously Suicune is way, way more bulky than the other two. And then Raikou in general is just amazing. I remember actually during the uh, GDQ speedrun of Crystal, they did some uh, manipulation there to uh, catch Raikou, like right as he appeared actually. Or after the events in the uh, Burns Tower. And he steamrolled the entire game after that pretty much. He was, I mean, on level 40, when your team is normally on like 20 to 25. And yeah, his stats were just amazingly high for that point in the game as well. Uh, let's see, nothing much going on here. Okay. Alrighty, Fisher Marvin, what do you have? Anything good? Him on top is good. I do enjoy him on top. I've used one a handful of times, actually. Uh, whenever I, if I, if I can uh, find one early on there. They're actually really good. I know they're super, super fast for one thing. But yeah, level 10, pretty fragile. Also, I forgot you leveled up already. Oops. Um, ooh, a Scizor. Uh, let's bring in Rastalin for that. Be a good matchup there. Scizor being four times weak to fire. Yeah, Scizor in Gen 2, I know, doesn't get that many good Steel-type moves. I think he gets, I think, Metal Claw, and that's really about it. There weren't really many Steel-type moves at all in Gen 2, really. I mean, what, there was Metal Claw and Iron Tail, and that's really about it. And as far as Dark moves go, there was Bite, there was Crunch, there was Pursuit, uh, Faint Attack, um... Was there anything else? Um, I don't believe so. Anyway, ooh, a Lantern. This could actually be a kind of bad matchup here if it has a Water-type move. Okay, well, Bubble is a Water move, but that shouldn't be too bad there. Yeah, I can shard that off, no problem. Also, yeah, I taught Raspin and Bubble Beam. Just, just because. <laughs> he actually had a pretty good special attack stat, so I mean... He needed more moves, he only had Ember and Scratch to start, so that's something, right? Eventually, he'll learn, like, Flamethrower and Slash and whatever. I'll teach him Fly as well when I get that. Which actually will be pretty soon. Okay, ooh, the Growlithe. I always love Growlithe, it is so freaking cute. If we had Pokemon IRL, I would happily get a Growlithe on my team. And actually, I would probably get a Growlithe and an Arcanine separately there, just to, you know, have them both. Um, what else would be cool to have? Something I could actually, like, physically, uh, ride on top of myself so I could, you know, fly places. Like, if a Charizard could support a human's weight, or, like, a Lugia or a ho -Oh, something like that. Um, probably a Lapras as well, just to, you know, surf on, on top of the water and everything. Um... Who else would I have for my IRL team? That's already four right there. Oh, yeah, what yeah. else? Uh, Growlithe, Arcanine, Aldo Lugia over, over ho -Oh. and then Lapras, so that's four. Uh, Pikachu for sure, he's been my all-time favorite since I was a kid, so he has to be there as well. And last one would probably be Alakazam, just because he's so damn smart. Alrighty, um, you're already on level 26, Kendra. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, let's swap here again. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's get uh, Charizard off the top there. Now, I think for um, 
for price coming up here. His Pokemon are on like, I think upper 20s, and his best one is like level 31, I wanna say? So I'll be a little underleveled for him, probably. Um, but if I get to like 28 across the board, I should be fine, not too worried about that. Although actually, no, I should be able to reach him today. I really should. Uh, let's see, Charizard, Bulbasaur, Ninetail, Suicune, Lycanroc, and Primarina. That's a really solid setup right there. Also, Midday Lycanroc? I didn't realize it had uh, different day forms like that. He was in uh, Sun and Moon, right? I don't think I've ever used one before, but I do recall that he is in Sun and Moon. And of course, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, obviously. Let's see. Ooh, an X Special, but I'm full. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Someone else can have that later on. Now, let me think. Um, think down this away is where I actually want to go. There's a house that's way tucked away in here somewhere. Way in the uh, northwest part of the forest here. And if I recall, this should be the right way. Uh, nope, not quite, not quite. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I thought for the uh, the three uh, beasts there, yep. Yeah, as far as like, move set goes, I know Entei kind of gets the shaft there a little bit. Um, oh, I want to go up that way, yeah. Yeah, Entei high HP, physical attack, sweet tune, defense, and special defense, yep. I mean, really though, of course, in-game, all three of them are super, super good. And if you have all three of them on your team, then you're pretty much good to go for the entire game. I mean, they have all, all the type coverage right there. Um, and then, like, a fighting type, a psychic type, and an HM slave to fill the last spot of set, and then boom, you're good. Alrighty, TM10. Normally this would be hidden power, but in my case, we'll see what it is. Oh, it's Headbutt. Okay. Um, and actually, I'll teach that to Charizard. Because he only has Scratch for a normal type move, so he needs something, right? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, Charizard, and... Oh, wait, you... What? Did I miss something? Oh, wait, no, that was Kendra. I completely missed that. I was like, wait. Yeah, Kendra already has Headbutt. I knew that. Okay, so yeah, we'll just drop Growl. I don't really need Scratch and Headbutt there, but it's better these two than, you know, Headbutt and Growl, so... Yeah, I do not like those debuff moves whatsoever in Pokémon. The offensive ones are really good, you know, like... Um, uh, Swords Dance is, is, of course, one of the best ones in the entire game. Um, Calm Mind is also good there. Um, Dragon Dance is also super good. Yeah, those I actually do use somewhat, although really, in-game, you don't really need them. They're kind of overkill, honestly. Like, imagine in in, uh, in Gen 2, let's say, if Tyranitar could learn Dragon Dance. I know eventually he is able to. I think, like, in Gen 3 or 4, he was able to learn that. Um, that is devastating. Like, he hits, like, a damn truck if he's able to get boosted. Even just like after one Dragon Dance, either in-game or competitive play, he will just steamroll pretty much in whatever's in sight. That's also why he's just so damn good. Uh, let's see, there should be an item sub somewhere up here actually. I think way, way, way up here. Okay, right over there. Now, I should be able to surf there to grab that. Uh, three forms. Midday... Ultra Sun, Midnight, or Ultra Moon. Oh yeah, I do recall that event, actually. Wasn't that when the games first came out? They were dis dis uh, distributing the uh, Rock Rough there? Oh, let's see. Um, give me one sec. I'll check something on Discord here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have notifications. Oh, I already caught that. 
Okay, um, oh yeah, let's surf over here. Quit fooling around here, if I can. Um, oh, that's way in the northeast there. Okay, I, I won't grab that. I don't care. Probably a potion or whatever. I mean, it, it could be good, the item there, but nah. Ooh, a Hitmonlee. Nice. These things are always really good. Oh, I've heard of the uh, Masuda method, but what actually is it? Like, I, I've never tried it myself. Is it like a shiny hunting method? Or something or other? I, I, I'm just guessing. I have no idea what it is. I only know of it uh, in passing. Uh, let's see. Oh, more levels. Nice. Okay, I probably shouldn't check Discord while I'm streaming. Or Twitter, or anything for that matter. Okay, anyway. Keep getting distracted. <gasps> what have we here? It's a, it's a red Gyarados. <gasps> but why is it red? Mystery thickens. Um, I actually... Do I want to catch this? I mean, he is great for an HM sleeve. Surf, Strength, uh, Waterfall, and Whirlpool. So actually, I probably will catch him. Although he is on level 30, so, uh... Oh! I forgot I, I changed that. <laughs> I completely forgot I changed that setting before for an uh, event Pokemon here to be uh, something totally different. Oops. <laughs> well, here we have Aerodactyl. Oh, wait, actually, is he still shiny as well? I can't really tell. I think he might be. I know he's more gray for his original sprite there, but, uh... Excuse me, this one does look a little more pink. But yeah, I'm wondering, like, if any Pokemon would uh, that would be here... Um... If they're guaranteed to be shiny just because that the, the event Gyarados is always shiny. Okay, I will actually catch it then. We have confirmed shiny. I, I should have realized as much anyway. I mean, this Gyarados is always shiny, so... Okay, well, cool. I, if I can actually attack the thing, I will, uh... I'll catch it. Also, wait. How... How was Steelix faster... Oh, wait, Quick Claw. I forgot. I was gonna say, wait, how was Steelix faster than Aerodactyl after an agility? But, uh, I kind of forgot that he had the Quick Claw, so, yeah. Okay, this sh okay, that's good damage there. Okay, uh, I want to play this a little carefully. I really do want to catch this just because it's shiny. Uh, we'll go for a faint attack here. This shouldn't do too, too much damage. Stop confusing me, you bitch. Ugh. These moves suck. Supersonic, confu uh, Confuse Ray, just, ugh. Do not need them at all. They're stupid, and they're also dumb. Uh, let's go for one more faint attack, just to get him down to uh, critical health, and we should be good. If I can actually land a hit. Okay, there we go. I was hoping confusion would wear off there, and I'm so glad it did. Uh, paint with indigo winged in later games. Oh, nice. Okay, um... I'll, I'll go for one more tackle. Even though I do have the catch rate set to its match setting in the randomizer to make things easier for me. Um, still want to be on the safe side, though. Okay, that should be plenty good enough there. And just to be on the safe side as well, I will toss a Great Ball. Now, will I use Aerodactyl? I actually kind of want to. And I think I'm going to, actually. And, uh, at this point, I will drop Jump Pluff. Now, granted, Aerodactyl being on level 30, I won't use him for a while, because he's, of course, a lot higher leveled. Well, hey, I wish you luck on that. Hopefully it all goes well for you. Now, what do I want to name Aerodactyl? Um... Normally, for rock types, I just name them Rocky, which is the most lame name ever. It's entirely original as well, 10 out of 10. Um, hmm. Um, I, uh, we're gonna go with, why am I doing this? I, I really don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go, gonna go with Larry. Just, 
Just because. I, ha I have no idea why. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Larry. Happy to have, have you. Okay, so now, this guy shows up. Hello. Um, no, there's actually no Gyarados there. There's Hitmonlee's. And an Aerodactyl. But, uh, yeah, no, no Gyarados. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We have skill, blah, blah, blah. Investigate, blah, blah, blah. He flies back to uh, the town. Oh, I didn't even think of Rodan. That's actually a great name. And that would have been perfect. I might go back to Goldenrod and change later on. If I remember to do so. But anyway, okay, so we want to double on back to Edgar Teak here. I'm going to try to avoid battles here. Uh, let's see. Now, I don't want to go through the guardhouse here because Team Rocket's there and they'll steal a thousand bucks from you if you do go through there. So we'll just say heck to that. And then, yeah, I will drop Jump Pluff and pick up Aerodactyl and then we'll go from there. Yeah, he'll be a huge, huge boost over Jump Pluff there because he'll actually be able to do real damage to things. Ah, it's quite fine. No worries there. Alright, so yeah, we'll get healed up here real quick. Uh, and stretch while I have a sec. Uh, okay, that's better. Okie doke. So, jump off. Kinda sorry to see you go. Also kinda not. I mean, he was our starter Pokemon, of course, so there's always a the little attachment there. But I mean, he's just... He's just jump off. So now we will pick up Larry. Now I forget what all moves he would have. Um, I know he'll learn Ancient Power eventually, um, but like Wind Attack and Bite would probably be probably be two moves he would have right there. Oh yeah, I forgot about the uh, Pokemon Bank actually there. Um, will that be in Sword and Shield at all? Do they announce anything for that? I know the games won't have the national debts or anything, which I know people are a little upset about. Um, although, actually, how would they even transfer Pokemon from the 3DS to the Switch? If they even if they even can, I have no idea. Anyway, um, okay, you have Bite and Ancient Power. That's that's fine enough there. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep it down at the bottom there for right now. Hi, Pompey. Can I pet you? Good boy, you're so cute. Good boy. Good boy, little buddy. Good boy. You still lay down, okay? You can lay down my blanket if you want. Okay. Uh, so anyway, now that we're fully healed up, trying to adjust my uh, mouthpiece here again. I have to go into uh, this little shop here. Uh, to transfer the Pokemon home. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Pompey, buddy, what are you doing? You just went out a little while ago. It was like an hour ago. You don't need to go out again. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You turn your head back anymore, you're gonna fall. Just so you know, Pompey. So please don't fall. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Good, you can sit there and be cute. Okay, so annoyingly so, we have these statues here that uh, like to call po uh, not Pokemon, like to call Team Rocket members to you uh, in pairs of two, and they'll keep coming until you turn off the uh, switch that's somewhere in the park here. So I will, of course, take care of that. Now, these guys would be great for EXP farming, actually, if I wanted to do that. Um, but probably what I'll just do is uh, do a little bit of leveling up uh, off-stream there before tomorrow's stream. If I even really need to. I mean, from here oh, afterwards, after um, Price there, uh, we have the whole Olivine route there down to Sinewood as well. And there are trainers aplenty, so levels will be skyrocketing there. Um, I'd really like to have my team be on 30 across the board um, before Chuck there, which I think should be pretty doable. I mean, probably with some leveling up off-stream regardless, but uh, maybe a, a, like a level or two apiece, depending. Oh, what was wrong with her AI? Although I, did, I never really got far enough on Nino Kuni to actually know what was wrong with it to begin with, so... But I'm assuming it was borked in some way. If it needs fits for the uh, remaster. Uh, Pidgeotto. 
Uh, we'll go for a rock throw. Mainly because it rhymes, so. Yeah, I played through Nino Tooney a little bit on the PS3, uh, but then got sidetracked with other games there and never got around to finishing it. That's kind of my problem. I'll play like a thousand games at the same time, but never finish any of them. But also, in a way, I, I like having that variety to like bounce between games there. Like, okay, I'm playing Final Fantasy XII for a while, and like, okay, I want to take a break from you. Okay, then back to Pokemon Crystal Randomizer, or Pokemon Black 2, or so on and so forth there. Uh, didn't listen when you gave commands, and she often died in battle. Yeah. Was she actually a good party member? Like, did you get by with, with, uh, with not using her at all? Or did you, like, have to use her? Or... I'm not sure the uh, situation is there for that. I mean, regardless if you did or not, it's still such as she, she uh, doesn't listen after commands whatsoever. Okay, so that's trainer number one. We got the alarm there for number two. And I think every time the first grunt you fight has two Pokemon and the other one has three. But well, the one with three, they're normally a little lower leveled than the, uh, than the uh, first trainer there. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, that makes sense. So, this, yeah, that's uh, quite a bit annoying there, to say the least. Um, Ghastly actually would be weak to Dart, so Fan Attack would actually be pretty useful here. Um, I wish I had my pillow in here, actually, for my back. I don't, unfortunately, and I don't feel like going up to get it. Although, actually, wait, our chair has a little backpack thingy. Heck yes, forgot about that. You hear any rustling again? That's just the uh, the, the chair squeaking and grunting and whatever. Okay, so I try to arc that back some. I'm sitting a little further back from the uh, mouthpiece, so I'll try to talk a little bit louder and slower as well, just to make sure I'm actually, you know, legible there and such. Hey there, Manchurkor. Happy to have you around. How you doing today? Playing some good old Pokemon Crystal Randomizer today. It's the first time I've actually seen your name around here before, so welcome aboard. And actually, speaking of the whole welcome there, I actually have a funny title that I, I might start implementing more for my whole uh, channel here. Calling it the, uh, the Movie Theater, because my name is Mr. Movies, so you know, the movie theater you're watching. You know, a stream is pretty much like a feature length movie, so like, it, it works. <laughs> I actually, oh, you have a Raikou. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. <laughs> this, uh, this could be bad. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Only level 18, so we might be okay. Oh wait, you didn't play Crystal on the... Oh, that's right, they have the, um... The uh, Game Boy shop there. I forgot Gold, Silver, and Crystal were on the uh, 3DS now for that. Via the uh, Virtual Console. I forgot about that entirely. I haven't played through the um, vanilla game of Crystal for quite a while, come to think of it. Although, in my case now, I'm all about the randomizers for, like, everything. I mean, Pokemon Crystal, uh, like, well, Gen 2 entirely, Gen 1, 3, 4, and 5. Um, Final Fantasy 4 randomizer... Super Mario RPG randomizer, the list goes on. Also a big one, Final Fantasy XII randomizer. I've been saying about that before in, uh, in past streams there. I cannot wait to stream that. That will be insane. I'm still so impressed also that they were able to make a randomizer for Final Fantasy XII. It is nuts. Absolutely nuts with all you can do with it. I mean, random... Enemy drops, enemy steals, item locations, item contents, um, weapon attack power, abilities, stat boosts there, um, for armor, for shields. Uh, I think you're even able to change the accessory effects. Um, the entire license board you're able to change. Um, they also implemented brand new licenses for the randomizer there. <laughs> the list goes on. It's incredible, really. Like, here I am raving about it, but seriously, it is so much fun. Also, in my case, I'm, a, uh, I'm a little overpowered, because, uh, I have pretty much all of, like, the top-tier equipment in the entire game already. 
and I only just beat Wraithwall's Tomb. But I think in my case, I kind of had the randomizer a little too high of setting to like, you know, find the really, really OP stuff early on. Although I also might have just gone super lucky there. And uh, also in my case, one of the shops in the game, I can buy the Sightengrat Bow. Which, if you're familiar with Zodiac Age, it's an extremely rare weapon to find. Um, it's only available on the uh, deck of the Sky Fairy. And the chest itself only appears, I think, a 1% chance of it actually even showing up. And then having the bow itself inside is, I think, a 1 in 10,000 chance. So, the odds are not great. Um, so yeah, in my case, I was able to buy them for, like, two gil apiece. <laughs> and, um, yeah, also they have an attack power of 224. So yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So yeah, I of course bought six for my entire team. Also, the other great thing about them is you don't need an actual license to equip them. Anyone can equip them regardless of class. And then uh, each team member also has, I think, the Assassin's Arrows, just for a non-elemental arrow there. I don't want to deal with, like, any of the uh, Ice Cloud Arrows healing enemies or whatever. So I just go straight non-elemental. But yeah, th they are stupidly OP. So I'm actually hoping to complete trial mode in this run. Uh, I got super close before on a Vanilla Zodiac Age on my PS4. Um, got up to Zod- uh, not, not, not Zodiac, um, uh, Yasmat actually in trial mode. You fight him, uh, stage 97 or 98 I want to say. And he actually has a lot less HP in trial mode than the standard Yasmat there. He has like 50 million or so normally. Uh, trial mode, a modest 4 million HP. Um, the kicker is though with that, when I fought him, I had him down to his very last bar of HP, and I was like, okay, I got this, I got this. Shit went to hell, and I got wiped. And I was playing this on my uh, PS Vita, actually, via remote play, and I almost snapped the thing in two. I, I was that angry, because it was still a long-ass battle against him, and still very, very difficult. Yeah, I was pissed. I was pissed. So I just said, screw it, I, well, I will not do that right now. But uh, I think now, in this case, on, my, on the uh, PC version, I want my revenge. So I will get to that point eventually. Probably still not until my levels are like pretty much matched out, really. Um, but yeah, I'll worry about that later on. Also, paralysis is hella annoying. Let's cure that, shall we? But yeah, I am super, super excited to stream that in the uh, near future. Uh, I don't know what game I'll do next after Crystal. Um, I don't think I'll do another Pokemon randomizer right after this one. I'll, I'll want to change it up uh, somewhat there. But I mean, 12 is obviously a massive game. Even just playing through it normally there without doing like the side content and such. There's just so much to do throughout the entire game. Um, and I probably actually will do most of it. Um, I'll try to do all the hunts there, whatever I can. Um, the other random side quests and such, I probably won't do those. Um, but I mean, I'll just go on as I play along there. Kind of just play by ear. Um, let's do a little bit more healing real quick. The one thing also I love doing in Final Fantasy XII is, uh, once you beat Wraithwall's Tomb, you can go to so many new areas there. Um, let me think. You're able to do the, the Barheim key side quest entirely to go into the harder part of the Barheim passage. Um, you're able to go through the Moss Foreign Highways and the Selika Wood, um, then to the Anabrius Deadlands, and also the Necro Hall of Nabudis. Um, those, of course, have extremely high level monsters there. So, yeah, the game opens up immensely at that point there, which is where I'm at right now. You know, my levels have skyrocketed since clearing Wraithwall's tomb there. And I'm trying to think what levels my team is on right now. I think mid-40s, I want to say. And also, my whole team is decked out in the best stuff. I mean, they all have, like, Grand Armor, Grand Helmet, Matsum... Oh, not Matsum, really. Um, well, for the Heavy Armor guys, they have that. Um, what else, what else, what else? 
all the um, lordly robes, the circlets, and then of course sit sight and rats. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm in a good shape there. Actually, one thing I forgot, there's one more trainer up over here I do want to battle. He is way up in the uh, northwest part here. This guy, I always forget about, actually. I always do. Yeah, he would be right over here. Also, who do I have up top right now? I forget. Uh, Lugia. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I might make the Zodiac Age my next uh, stream project there after Crystal. That still actually won't be for a good while yet, because, uh... We're only, like, halfway through, um, Crystal here, essentially. We only have four badges for right now. Well, actually, well, we're, ha we're halfway through Johto, I should say. And we still have all of Kanto after that, actually, yet to go. So we have a long ways yet. Let's see. Uh, Pokemon the Kaiju. Uh, Tyranitar v. Godzilla. That's a good matchup there. Volcarona and Mothra. Perfect one. Aerodactyl to Rodan and Hydra Hydreigon. Is it... Ghidorah, that's pronounced, I want to say. Those are spot on comparisons right there for sure. Also, if I see a Tyranitar somewhere in game, I am catching him. No matter what. He is too damn good to not use. More Raikou? Why? I don't want to fight more Raikous. They're really, really good. Um, but I have no ground type moves either. Um, we'll go Kingdra. Yeah, he is one of my favorites, just in general as well. He is unbelievably powerful. And then Game Freak gave him a Mega Evolution to make him even more stupidly powerful. Did he need one? God, no, he was still amazingly good as is. Yeah, I think as, as a base attack power in, in his Mega Form is 164, which is just stupidly high. It's absolutely insane how good that thing is. But even still, I love how Game Freak made Rayquaza already awesomely good in Gen 3. Then they gave him his own Mega Evolution of sorts. I know it's not... Well, I just technically it's Mega. Um, not the same vein as having a Mega Stone. He only needs Dragon Ascent to Mega Evolve. And then, yeah, his stats are just completely off the charts. It's obscene how good that thing is. I think actually he was so good, um, he was even banned from the Ubers tier in competitive play when Omega Ruby Knock the Sapphire came out. That's how good he was. And actually, I want to find his base stats real quick too. Just just because. I really want to see how good they were exactly. Omega Rayquaza. Oh, that was already a thing there for stats. I should have clicked that. Oops. Omega Rayquaza base stats. Yeah, I want to see how good these are. Yeah, Rayquaza, we already know, is super, super good. Um, they should be further down, I want to say, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Those are all move sets there. No, where's your Mega Evolution? I want to see that. You pretty much do. Absolutely. Let's see. Yeah, Mega Evolution. So, yeah, there's. Yeah, even this, it's base stats here. Wait, this is what I want right here. Yeah, that's Rayquaza. And then Mega... No, this page doesn't... It, it's page should have it here. Maybe it's on, I was on the wrong page or whatever. We're looking at the wrong spot. Uh, anyway. Ooh, a Rattata. Why am I saying ooh? It's a Rattata. We've all seen them before. And they suck. Anyway, trying to find its base stats here somewhere. Shouldn't be this hard to find. Like, come on. Uh, Dex entries, blah, blah, blah. Where are your Mega stats, damn it? I want to see. Here we go. Okay. So, it has no base stat under 100. Okay. That right there is stupid. Incredibly stupid. Because, yeah, I think the average base stat, I think it's 80 is considered average. Even at its base form, its lowest base stat would be its defense, special defense, of 90. So, I mean, they're... I mean, that, that's extremely good right there. 754 for Nana Crosby. Yeah, that thing is a beast as well. Um, I actually remember that thing was hard to kill. I remember my first playthrough with their Ultra Sun and Moon. He actually killed, I think, half my team, actually, when I was trying to fight him. That was, that was rough. 
Um, anyway here, so yeah, Rayquaza's, just base Rayquaza, its stat total is already 680. Mega Rayquaza is 780. That's gotta be the highest in the game, right? Like, it has to be. What else could even come close to that? I mean, besides Ultra ne uh, Necrozma there. Um, yeah, its lowest base stats are its defense at base 100, which is still really, really good. Um, HP in 105, which is very, very solid. Uh, base speed of 115, which is very, very high tier. And then 100, 180 attack and special attack. That is mind-boggling how high those stats are. Like, shit's crazy. Like, honestly. Now, I'm, I'm wondering if Sword and Shield will give us anything that could have, like, in an 800 base stat total. I mean... God knows what that could even be. Yeah, I forget how I even killed him myself, actually. I probably did the same thing with just a lucky poison or just wore him down with my entire team. Also, who my who was even on my team in Ultra Moon? I don't I don't even remember. I played through both games, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, just once, actually. Um, and I know I did a lot of wonder trading. Also, can I say, I love the wonder trade function in, um, XY, Sun and Moon, and so on there. I really hope they're also in, uh, Sword and Shield. I really, really do. Now, I, I don't think Game Freak's announced anything on that yet, for if, if that'll be in the game or not. I really want it to be. I really, really do. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. One thing I also liked with Wonder Trading, especially in uh, X and Y, is that you would rack up those, um, the Poke Miles, depending on, uh, on how, uh, how far the trade apart was between you and your uh, partner there. And you'd be able to trade those points in for really, really good items in, um, um, uh, I can't recall the town name there. Um, oh, was it Lumio City? The really, really big city hub or whatever in X and Y, I forget. It's the one with like, um, it's like a huge circle around and you fight the electric gym leader there later on. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tyrant, Tyrant's art does tend to wreck pretty much everything in sight. I mean, granted, he has a four times weakness to fighting, which hurts, but I mean, as a pseudo legendary, you have to have a four times weakness to something, otherwise you're just too good. Although I do know actually that later on, um, some pseudos do not have a full four times weakness there. But yeah, like Tyranitar is just, he is so damn good. Also, by the way, Garchomp. Garchomp is incredibly good as well. I love him to death. I'm always still hoping I can find one in either my uh, Heart Gold Randomizer, my Platinum one, or my uh, Black 2 one. Because he is too good to use as well. Or too good to not use, I should say. That thing is a beast and a half. And also has a mega form. <laughs> just because, right? Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, Kendra. Wait, no, you're on level 26 still. I knew that. For some reason, I thought you leveled up. I am not even paying attention. I really should be, but I'm not. <laughs> Alrighty, so anyway, we're in the, uh, the little hideout down here underneath their shop in uh, Mahogany Town. We need two passwords to get into the uh, boss's quarters. I think that one trainer to the far left has one, and also a trainer in this little uh, office hub to my immediate north-northwest has one as well. So yeah, you do that, and you go do absolutely nothing, because, well, I do the passwords myself. Lance does nothing while he's here. Uh, give me one sec, actually, that uh, stretch. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. I actually went ahead and grabbed my, grabbed my pillow as well. Yeah, I need better back support. 
Okay, oh, I should. Thankfully, my pillow is forgiving and very, very soft and plush, so uh, that should help out a lot there. Yeah, I'm curious to see what uh, people will do for that in Sword and Shield. It will be anything similar to uh, how it's been before, or what have you. Um, Grimer is a poor matchup here, just because I can only really use Bite. And uh, Dark and Gen 2 is a special, uh, well, special type in general, so... Yeah, that'll be a little annoying. I need a better move for Krogat. Well, something else there as well. And you go and do that. <sighs> Rude. Okay, we'll go Sludge Bomb. Even though you resist it, I, I may as well. Better than Rolling Kick. This will probably do crap damage. Mario actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. And then... Uh, it seems a waste to use a move like Rolling Kick when you're so low on HP, but I kind of have to, so... Now, I'm gonna adjust my uh, mouthpiece here somewhat there, as I'm sitting a little further back in my chair now to uh, support my back there. Ah, uh, Fortress. Oh, I can actually bring in um, Charizard for you. This would actually be a great matchup here. You know, you being the uh, Bud and Steel type there, Ember will just destroy you in one hit for sure. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now, this is not a one-hit kill, I'll be sad, but it really should, I mean, it's four times weak to it, that's what I thought. Alright, takes care of that. Now, I, uh, don't think my levels will be quite where I want them to be by the time I fight Price there. Um, I was saying I want my whole team to be on, like, level 28, so, uh, that kinda won't work. Because my team will get to, like, maybe 27 across the board, which... Still not terrible. I mean, also, Price would be super easy anyway when I fight him. He could have, like, three crappy as hell Pokemon, so... Eh, we'll see. Uh, why'd I use that? I meant to use, uh, Sludge Bomb. Oh, hey, free flinch. I'll take that. Okay, free move. I love it. Actually, one thing I'm curious about, too, did a Rolling Kick cost flinching in Gen 1 as well? I actually don't know for sure. It may have. But, uh, either way. Ooh, a Dodrio. Nice. We've seen you before, though, in, uh, past streams there. I think, actually, we saw one a handful of times just last stream on, uh, Tuesday there. Also, yeah, it feels good to be back streaming today because I wasn't able to yesterday. Now, it feels like an eternity ago, Wednesday, actually, because I had to wait for our, our laundry stuff to arrive there, our, our new washer and dryer we ordered from, uh, from Aaron's. Um, got here right about, uh, noon, actually, yesterday. So, actually, I technically could have streamed, actually. The guy was done in about 20 minutes or so. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's swap you, let's get Kendra up front there. So, yeah, I, I could have streamed yesterday, but I was like... And I had a late lunch there too, actually, I couldn't eat until like, t about 12.30. And I didn't really want to like, rush into streaming, so... And that's alright, no worries. It's, it's not a huge, huge deal at all, I was just curious about that, it was all. Yeah, we actually were already able to use a washer and dryer yesterday. They're really, really nice. They're, uh, they're both uh, GE brand, which of course is a really, really good brand there. Um, does Poison beat Buggy at all? I forget, actually. Well, we'll find out. So yeah, it's nice to actually finally have like real laundry service and stuff there. We actually haven't had laundry like in our own actual place ever, actually, for my brother and I. We've always had a... Uh, Pretty much all like we've been in apartments throughout that are are a, a lot as of late that have like their own laundry services there for, for the entire complex, but like never our actual own laundry stuff like that we can call our own. Also, I, I need to get more carboses for Kinder to boost his speed. I really want all the stats to be fully equal. Okay, let's see. so you are on 27 already. Uh, so we will bring in Rascal next. 
Uh, still a handful of trainers around. Oh, did I talk to the trainer over here? She had the password, actually. I forget if I actually did or not. But if I, if I didn't, then I'll do it again. Oh, crap. Is Robot me back again? Damn it. Um, trying to adjust the mouthpiece there, if that helps or anything. <laughs> I wish I knew what that happened. I really do. Oh, yeah, um, does it sound any better now? I tried to move the mouthpiece a little closer to my, uh... Actually, a little, even maybe further away would be better. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out that problem there. I mean, hopefully my, my other headset, that'll be better. My other uh, USB headlock tech headset there. Also, wait, what's that Twitch thing I have up there, actually? Still hear an echo. Um, that's really weird. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what is causing that. Um, it was fine before, right? I mean, the audio was still quiet until we fixed that. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's not too, too bad. I mean, I have my, uh... I'm trying to think what, what all could even cause that. Uh, my webcam on my laptop is disabled, so it won't pick up any audio from that. Uh, I also changed the setting before to mute all of the, like, outside sounds there and such. Um... Yeah, I... I don't know... I really do not know, unfortunately. I mean, I just I just use the thing. I don't fully know, like, what goes on with it. So... Uh, it happens, I guess. I do apologize for it. Hopefully tomorrow my other headset will arrive, and that'll be better. Fingers crossed on that one, for sure. I mean, it'll, of course, it'll work, technically speaking, but will it work to the level that I want it to work at? That's the question there. But, um, we'll, we'll make do. Um, actually, I turned down the audio a couple of clips there. Maybe that'll help drown it out a little bit there. Ooh, a Moonstone. Not that I really need that. And see, also, let me try... Let me see something here just real quick. I'm gonna... Check something here in OBS. Give me one sec. Turtle Beach Recon 60p. Okay. I want to make a quick note of that in my phone just so I know what kind of headset it actually is. I'll Google it later. Turtle Beach. Not Turtle Each. Turtle Beach Recon 60p. Okay. That's just so I have a note of that for later on so I can Google the actual brand of it there and uh, hopefully fix it later. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's not uh, harp on the uh, robot anymore. Okay, one more trainer over here, and I think there's still one more in the actual like, executive office coming up here, and that should be it. I was trying to think, actually, too, if I wanted to skip price for right now until I got a few more levels, and then came back to him later on. Although, I'm, I'm here now, I may as well fight him while I'm in the area. That should also be a pain to have to leave the area, and then come all the way back. Though if I actually did do um, Jasmine and Chuck first, I would have Fly, therefore I could fly back here actually, and then uh, battle Price. Um, Nah, I'm already here. I'll just fight him after I'm done with this. May as well. Uh, there's still an echo, by the way. Um, is it any better whatsoever? I bumped down my audio level um, two notches total, but it doesn't uh, multiples of two there. So it was four actual digits of volume there. So hopefully that'll help there. Still the same. Um... My brother actually mentioned it might be just the internet kind of like fading in and out there. Um, I don't know if the stream itself is any has dropped frames at all. Actually, no, I have dropped frames. I just noticed that. Um, so maybe that's why. Um, oh, no, I don't want a scary face. Um, yeah, we do have a constant internet here, which isn't the greatest. Um, so maybe that's, that could cause it somewhat there. 
Um, I mean, I, 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 I will Google this, how to figure it out later, hopefully, if I, if there's any fix for it. Um, even so, that's so damn annoying that this, that this keeps happening. I mean, I get it, the same thing that this happened on stream and such, but... I, I want to know why it happens. That's what really annoys me when it's something happening and I don't know the reason for it, therefore I can't fix it. I, I don't get that. Like, that's what really, really annoys me about this whole thing there. You see, I, I don't want to, like, keep having this happen, obviously. But I mean... If I don't know what's causing it, then I can't fix it. Which is just incredibly annoying anyway. And I also, of course, don't want to, like, Google how to do this right on stream. Because that's just a waste of time there, so... But yeah, I just... It, it was fine before, and then what happened all of a sudden that that changes that? Um, oh hey, Iron Silver Steelers, I'll take that. Um, I don't know if it would help at all, Blue. Um, refresh your, um, your browser. I'm not saying it's on your end whatsoever. Um, a refresh might help, possibly. Um, it's worth a try if you want to give it a try, just real quick there, to let me know. Um, And actually, also, I might refresh um, the things on my end as well. Um, although, I'm not really sure what that would do. Um, real quick, though, I am going to drop a uh, tackle here. I don't really need that anymore. But yeah, I'll refresh my end as well here real quick. So, give me one sec. Uh, let me just get um, steel that's up top here. And yeah, so I'll refresh my browser here and such, and we'll be right back. Let me, I'll, one more thing, I'll, I'll save here real quick, too. Don't really need to, but I figure better to be on the safe side anyhow, so we'll just do that. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, uh, did that quick refresh, so I'm back now. Um... Hopefully that worked, please. Because otherwise, I, I got nothing. I really ha I have nothing. Unless, um, I don't want to stop streaming right now just for that. I really want to keep going for a little while longer. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe actually, I can kind of multitask here. I can, uh, semi-Google it while I'm, uh, nah, nah, I don't want to. Damn it, it's so annoying how this happens again! It's so annoying! This is why I, I hate it. I hate technology sometimes. I really do. I mean, why can't things just work the way they're supposed to? I don't get that. I really don't. Oh well. Try not to harp on it too much, but sometimes for me, it's, it's, it's hard not to. It's, it's just... Oh, did I not talk to the other guy with the password? I must not have. Oops. And I'm all flustered. Thanks. Thanks, headset. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, we'll double on back real quick. Talk to the, uh, one guy that he missed for the other password. He was in the uh, southwest part here. And then we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. Was this guy down over this way? Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay, now back to the uh, other room there. But yeah, I'm trying to rack my brain also what it could possibly be to cause this. I don't know if the internet just dropped for a bit there, what's caused it. Um, I mean, I haven't really touched the headset at all. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what could cause it. Like, really, what else even could cause it? Like, is it just because maybe the like, Twitch is overloaded right now and... That, that drops quality? I'm just pulling shit out of my ass here. Because I really do not know. But yeah, I will do some research for sure once I'm done streaming. And do whatever I can to fix it now. And hopefully I get something uh, fruitful in my search. Or even hopefully tomorrow my other headset will come and that'll be better. Because if not, then... I'm not sure what else to say. 
I mean, I don't want to stop streaming altogether just because of this. That's just stupid. To have something, like, as, as simple as a robotic mic. Like, just stop streaming altogether. I, I'll fix it one way or another. Also, the Boreon here might be a bad matchup. Also, Iron Tail accuracy sucks. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna swap. Because this is a terrible matchup here. So, let's bring in... Who else will be good against uh, Big Boreon? We'll go with, um, well, when it's out Lugia, right? That always works. Thankfully, the Boreon is actually pretty physically, like, defensively weak. Uh, back in, uh, an hour and a half. I might still be on then, I'm not sure. I'll play by ear as I, as I uh, go along here. I do at least want to uh, beat Price today if I can. Which, really, that shouldn't be too, too bad. I'm actually almost done with this part anyway. After uh, this guy here, you take out those uh, six electrodes later on. And then that's the last thing there, really, so. Okay, easy enough there. Lots of ESP from a before and I appreciate that. Uh, okay, now I'll actually go back to um, Steelus here. He should be able to handle Sneasel pretty easily. I will heal him up as well, of course. Yeah, having my uh, dad send out my other headset, actually, which he put out in the mail, I think actually back on, on Monday, actually, it was sent out, so I'm hoping it'll be here tomorrow. It really should be. Or if not, then it'll definitely be here by Monday, so... Either way, help is on the way, so we should be good. We should be good. Anyway, steal this week to, uh, Rock, so Rock Slide, please hit thank you. They want to deal with more Iron Tail shenanigans, with missing constantly. And that's the thing, yeah, it does have a pretty bad accuracy. It's like, I think, 80% or so, which is not great, so, yeah. Although, this body has a stab move at all with, uh, Iron Tail there. Eventually, I'll teach an Earthquake as well, if anyone I get that. No idea when I'll get that, but... He'll appreciate it all the same, so... Okay, there we go, and... Rage! Don't need that either. Oh, no, no, no. Stop lane rage. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay one more Pokemon finally. Ooh, Flareon. This guy's loaded. Hot damn. Uh, okay, so we're on 27, so back to Lugia. Go for a quick surf and go for that. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, my back still hurts. Actually, I'll have my back now. It's more like my tailbone hurts a little bit. Okay, uh, Flareon, quick surf. I feel so bad for Flareon. It has amazing attacking stats. It still does like not get any good physical fire moves, I don't think. And it also gets the shaft because well earlier games its attack stat was 130 and fire was special type for the longest time early on. So trying to take, take advantage of those amazing stats you had. And also those outclass and so many other, other things. Yeah, I think that in Gen 4, the physical special split uh, happened, and his best physical fire move was Fire Fang, which is honestly pathetic. And the move itself is just okay, it's like 65 base power or whatever, but Flareon's base attack is 130. It needs better moves than that. I mean, I think now it has Flare Bliss, which is of course incredibly good there. But also, Flareon is just too slow to really use it all that well. His base speed is like 65, I think, maybe even 60. And it's also very fragile as well, so he can't even use it, period. Because he just gets one shot by like an Earthquake or a Rock Slide. I mean, it's a competitive play again, so that's not really a huge, huge deal there. But even still, it is still such a few that, 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 that like Flareon so much. 
Me, myself, though, my favorite evolutions are Espeon for sure and Jolteon. Oh, Leafeon's good too, I do like him. Actually, what game was it in? I was playing before I was doing a, um, doing more wonder training and I actually got a Leafeon at like level 4. And it was super, super good actually. Actually, it might have, No, it wasn't Black and White 2, they didn't have wonder training. Uh, well, so it had to have been like X and Y, I think, or Sun and Moon. No, um, X, was it X and Y? Oh, no, 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 I think it was actually Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is when I got it, I, I, I do believe. Yeah, that thing, that early on in Gen 3 was wonderful. Um, okay, Ludia's up top, okay, so we're good. Do a quick save here, be on the safe side. And actually, yeah, I forgot that we have, um, another battle up here, actually, with, uh, some more rocket people. Well, this one's pretty easy, actually. We have Lance in total with us four coming up here, so we'll be fine. Oh, okay, I had to walk forward first. Now, even though they ambushed me here, I could easily just take them out solo. But they had to be cowardly trying to fight two on one. Also, by the way, I'm a 10-year-old kid, so that's a little unfair. Unintendedly, I could. I mean, I have six Pokemon. You guys have, like, three or four total. So, I easily could. Also, Lance, where were you earlier? <laughs> Where's my sense of honor? Coming from Team Rocket, of all people. Or just all... Just in general there. Yeah. I think you really have no room to talk about honor whatsoever. Also, I think you gave her the name... I think her name's Ariana? Or something in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Something like that, I want to say. Ooh, Teddy Ursa. They are adorable, by the way, Teddy Ursa. I also love Ursa Rain as well. He is really, really cool. Um, being pure normal type, we'll go for a low kick here. Also, I would really imagine a low kick from Lugia would really, really hurt. Because it has, like, giant leg claw talon things. That's just my two cents on the subject. Anyway, it goes down pretty easily. Nothing to worry about there. Let's see, no new moves to Lugia yet, not until I think, um, uh, uh, 31, I would say. Ooh, Murkrow. Mur Murkrow, Murkrow, I think it's Murkrow. Uh, we will go with, who would be a good choice here? I have no electric type moves. Oh, no, we'll go, we'll go, Crobat. He has a rolling kick, that'll work. Even though Murkrow is dark flying, so he actually only take normal damage from fighting type moves, but it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, Murkrow was his new uh, Gen 2 Dark types, just to be a Dark type there. He himself is not that great. Uh, Monstro, however, is really, really good in, uh, in Gen 4 there. Excuse me. Sludge Ball, I actually should use this probably sooner. There we go, much better. Good job, Crobat. Okay, and one more. We have Kakuna. I am so scared. Now, if I had Wind Attack, that would be wonderful right now. That would probably one-shot it, you know, but I haven't learned it yet. I will eventually. Just not sure when. I, I would check, actually, for that, but I mean, well, I'll learn it eventually, I'm sure. So, there we go. Easy enough. And then, yeah, Lance had the other trainer there, who was actually even easier than uh, Ariana here. Okay, takes care of that. Yeah, now all we have to do is take, take out the electrodes, and then we'll go to, uh, to the gym. And then, yeah, blah, 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 fast forward, blah, 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 turn out the signal, faint the electrode, easy enough there. Okay, so now let's get... Um, don't really want uh, Crobat or Charizard up top there, so we'll go Kingdra. And you have three electrodes here to deal with. I think they're all on level, like, 24? Also, I forgot they're random, too. <laughs> okay, so we have a hoop for our first one here. I keep forgetting that I changed that setting as well, so I'm, I'm so used to them being electrodes here. And then I'm like, oh, you're not electrode. 
Now, actually, I'm also wondering, will um will they all be hoodoos? I would imagine so, just because they're all normally electrodes, so logic would say that they all be the same. Okay, no, they actually are all different. Okay, good to know. And also, yeah, they're level 23, not 24 or whatever, so. Um, Sludge Bomb, why not? Actually, no, Crab Hammer, Crab Hammer would have been better there. Oops. Oh, well, no big deal. Now, actually, what I'm also wondering is, do each of these have the same moveset as Electros do? Because I don't think Giraffe Rig normally learns agility. I could be wrong, but I don't know for sure. But, uh, either way. Also, yeah, if I still sound robotic whatsoever, again, I apologize for that. I can't really do much with it right now, though, so we'll just have to deal with it until... Well, hopefully this will be the last stream we have that issue at all there. Um, hopefully my new headset will be here before I stream tomorrow. Um, if not... Um, I mean, I'll, I'll play it by ear. I'll also do some research about the headset itself here, if there's any setting fixed for it by chance. Hopefully there is, because I don't want to keep dealing with this every single stream here. Also, I should have fixed this issue sooner, so that's on me. I don't up to that. But even still, it shouldn't be happening, period. And also, seemingly at random as well, because it's been fine before. So, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, the HM sits for a uh, waterfall there of, of Whirlpool, even worse. Waterfall we did later on, actually, in the uh, ice cave later on there. Also, yeah, Whirlpool sucks, but you need it, though, to get through the game. Because you have to go to the um, Dragon's Den and uh, talk to the Elders there, and you have to use Whirlpool to uh, even get there, actually, in the cave. So, yeah, that's annoying. So, actually, I'll probably... Well, actually, now at this point, I can even just use Jump Pluff as my HM slave. He already has Cut. Um, I can teach him Surf as well, if I really wanted to. But then, then a, a whirl, whirlpool and waterfall there, just so somebody has them, because otherwise they're not that great moves to have on my actual real team there. So actually, jump puff will still be useful there. Okay, uh, let's see. So you're on 27. Okay, we should be good. Now, normally, of course, price of gem here is well, take a while, I guess. Um, so my team would be. A little bit iffy here, actually. Ice would uh, destroy Aerodactyl. Charizard would actually would be okay here. Kendro, I think actually water resists ice, so he would take normal damage there. Uh, Lugia would be uh, a poor choice here as well because he's weak to ice. So yeah, my team is actually very ice weak, unfortunately. Although you don't really see ice types like much at all in Gen 2, really. I mean, there's a uh, Wait, well, no, there's no Lorelei. Is, is Lorelei in Gen 2? No, it's Will, Koga, Karen, and Bruno. So actually, no, no Lorelei in Gen 2, just to clarify on that. Um, yeah, ice types just aren't very prevalent in Gen 2, really. Oh, Venus. Um, I wish I had a fire type move to use against you. Or psychic. Or flying. Or ice. I have none of those whatsoever. I have Headbutt, which is uh, not a good substitute. But, uh, oh well. Nice flinch hat, so I'll take that. Yeah, eventually I'll get uh, good TMs for, like, hopefully for Psychic, or even Psybeam, or whatever. Or Confusion, just something, anything, really, would be good. Or even better if I get, like, actual Pokemon of those types. Oh, I have Lugia as a Psychic type, so if you can learn Psychic eventually, that would be amazing. Um, Charizard will, of course, get, like, Flamethrower and shit later on. Also, I should have put Charizard in. I forgot I had Charizard. <laughs> um, oops. Yeah, I should have brought him in to, you know, use Ember, because he's a Fire type, and... Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh well, doesn't matter anyway, he's dead. Okay, 
And one more. Ooh, Beedrill. Okay, now I'll bring in Charizard. Because you all know, of course, Fire Beast Bug. <coughs> Excuse me. But of course, Rocks do as well, so actually, Steel is a good choice here for Rock Slide. Okay, so we'll go for a little uh, Ember. Yeah, I can't wait till Charizard gets like Slash and Flamethrower and shit, because it's actually more powerful there. I mean, right now, Ember is okay. It's a fire type move, so like. Yeah. Anyway, 2 hit KO, easy enough there. Okay, and actually I'll just keep Charizard up top here for right now, even though he's already halfway to another level. Okay, so now, yeah, we'll bring Charizard up top. Actually, let's get you. I'll just pop you up top here for right now. Okay, and one more trainer over here. And there's like uh, three more up ahead? Maybe four, I forget, but either way. Let's see, only one Pokemon. Anything good? Okay, there's another stream list from earlier there. Alrighty. Can't really use Ember. Oh no, I can't use Ember. I can't really use Scratch or Headbutt. There, obviously, I meant to say that before. Um, so yeah, Bubble Beam or um, or Ember. Why would you use Confuse Ray? Why do you do things? Nobody needs that. Nobody wants that either. Also, I have nothing really to uh, cure confusion. I don't think. I don't have any uh, Bitter Berries or even Full Heal for that matter. Uh, Swap to um, uh, Probat. May as well. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. here is a uh, pure ghost type, as opposed to the, uh, of course, the other uh, ghost poison types of the uh, Gasly line there. So, actually, Sludge Bomb here might be useful. Super effective, I don't know, actually, but we'll see. I know Dark beats Ghost, for one thing. Okay, not very effective. Well, we have confirmation. Uh, this will be effective. And superly so. I didn't know it could learn that. Um, okay. Oh, I have bite! What the hell am I doing? And that was still weaker than Slug Bomb, I think. <laughs> okay, well, we're fine. We're fine. Psybeam shouldn't kill, thankfully. Okay, good. That was close, though. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I need more move variety for, like, my entire team. And, uh, in due time, we'll get better stuff there. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's heal up Crobat there just real quick. Pop the, uh, fresh water on him, and also a potion as well. Let's I think Charizard did not gain a level. Okay, yeah, no, he did not, so we'll keep him up top for the uh, near future there. Okay, now, the ice puzzle here is a little bit tricky because I always forget the exact way to go. Um, but I'll do the trainers first and then the actual puzzle solving after that. If you can really even call it a puzzle. Well, I guess, yeah, you can. It's an ice sliding puzzle, we'll call it that. Okay, Brad. Ooh, Parasect. Actual good matchup here. At least, at least for a Charizard, anyway. Okay, uh, should be a 2 of KO here with Ember. Parasect is not that bulky like whatsoever. Oh, my tailbone hurts. Oh, wow, one shot. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, but I'll take it. Ah, oh, tailbone, why do you hurt? Uh, okay. Trying to like stretch that, stretch it out some, some of my uh, lower back there and such. Okay, more snubbles. I am tired of seeing snubble every freaking where. Just annoying. And thankfully though, they don't have intimidate yet. That's in uh, Gen three onward, which is annoying. Okay, uh, we'll go for your rolling kick here. Probably won't be a one shot because Crobat isn't that that strong. Why would you use Roar? Steelix, please. Steelix, Steelix. 
You're not Steelus. Actually, Roy only wanted Steelus because he was still on level up 27 there. Whereas Lugia is still on level 128. Oh well. Didn't really need the crit again, but I'll take it. Ooh, Domino's you now. I do love Domino's pizza. We actually have one very close by to us, literally just up the street, like a mile away. We haven't ordered from them yet since we've been down here, but we uh, will soon. One place that actually I, um, I myself, and my brother love to order from is a place called Dickie's Barbecue. Their pulled pork is my favorite on their menu, but also their sweet barbecue sauce is divine. I can literally drink the stuff straight up. It's that good. I, I kid you not. It's like, it's almost like you have a tire and a tire. Bitch, fuck you, I want one. <laughs> I want one so bad. Why do you have one and I don't? That's not fair. Uh, please don't have rock slide. Okay, okay we're good. <sighs> I want tire and are so bad. They're so good. They're so good. But anyway, yeah, the sweet sauce there is like, it's not like cloyingly sweet or whatever, it just... It's a really, really good balanced sweet flavor there. And also, it's like, it's not like really, really thick sauce either. It's on the thin side. You have the fucking ho -Oh too. Why? Why is this person so good? I'm bringing a Lugia. I have to. Okay, back on topic again with, uh, with Dickie's Barbecue here. Keep seeing amazing shit here. Um. Yeah, it's a thinner sauce actually there, as opposed to like, you know, they're normal like really thick, sweet barbecue sauce, but it is just absolutely divine. I love it so much. Yeah, that's my go-to every time you order from them, and they're uh, waffle fries. They also have really, really good Texas toast, and also very good um, just dinner rolls as well. They're also they're like, they're, they're like thicker, like yeast rolls, actually. They're very, very dense and filling, but they are so, so good. Coffee. Lay down. Good boy. Okay, Sacred Fire. Missed? I thought I had perfect accuracy. Oh, hey! Hey, new user. Hello. Let's see what your name is here, friend. Uh, I do not know how to pronounce that. May I call you just, uh, Mandy? For the M-A-N-D-I there? <laughs> Happy to have you aboard! First time seeing you here, so welcome to the movie theater, as I'm now calling it. It's now catching on, hopefully. Playing some, uh, good old Pokemon Crystal Randomizer today. What else do we have here? Okay, thankfully something normal. Something normal here. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I do apologize. I, I'd rather have a nickname for a person that I can't pronounce rather than having trying to pronounce the full person's name and butchering it horribly. I tend to do that at times, so that's why I try to ask beforehand there. So yeah, in summary, this guy had a Tyranitar, a ho -Oh, and a Beltrout. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. The answer is Bell Sprouts. <laughs> also, I will, I'll just mention here, just real quick, Mandy, if I do sound any, like, robotic -y or whatever, I'm trying to work on that. My headset, for whatever reason, is stupid. Uh, it's a Turtle Beach headset, so it shouldn't have bad quality or anything. I mean, it's a really, really a nice headset. Um, so I don't know if it's, like, my internet causing it, or maybe it's on Twitch's end. Um... Thankfully, though, I have a headset on the way here soon, coming oh, via my dad from Pennsylvania. Um, it's a Logitech USB headset, which will hopefully get me some clearer quality there. I can, I can only really, really hope on that one. So yeah, if it does sound like really, really bad, I do apologize for that. But thankfully, a fix will be on the way here soon. But uh, either way, I'm happy to have you aboard. I'm happy to have new viewers in my chat. Uh, see, so before price, I'll save here just real quick. And also, one thing of note, Mandy, uh, my stream schedule, since you are new here, I'll let you know. Uh, I stream most, most every weekday at uh, 1 p.m. Central Time. And I usually go, like, today, 
I might cut it a little bit short after I beat Price here and then just be done, but normally I go for like two to three hours or so most days there, from like that one to three thirty, one to four o'clock time slot there. That seems to work out pretty well. Although once I start playing like other games, I might go longer, depending on like what game it actually is. Um, but we'll see later on. But for right now, two to three hours for me is usually pretty good. Oh yeah, no tank. This actually could be a little annoying. Although, well, maybe. We'll see. We will see. Uh, let's go for some good iron cell spam here. Now, thankfully, actually, Steelix here would resist stomp and roll out, actually, if he decides to spam it here. Oh, I actually thought iron cell missed for a sec. It, it usually tends to. Okay, that wasn't bad. Now, if need be, I can also go rock slide here for some uh, flinch hacking there. Now, I'm hope, hoping, hoping, hoping Price will not heal Mill Tank here. Okay, we're good. Okay, that's a big reason has gone right there, actually. Yeah, Mill Tank can be a pain in the ass, for sure. We, we, we all know Mill Tank from the uh, early days of Gen 2 there, for sure. That thing was a beast to fight. Ooh, Charizard, I have one of those. And actually, I could bring mine out to use because it has Bubble Beam. Also, this is a bad matchup. Go first. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, one hit KO, please. Charizard is four times weak to rock. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we're not fully good. Okay. Okay, this will probably hurt a fairly decent bit. Or it could also crit. Wow. That's a light. It really is. Okay. Well, in that case... Oh, wait. You're not Charizard. <laughs> I actually meant to bring out my Charizard. Deuce. Uh, okay. Um, Crowd Hammer. Why not? And you do that. <sighs> why would you do that? Just, just why would you do that? It's, again, impolite. It's the word of the day today. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's good, that's good. Now, go first. That is not first, that is opposite first. Being second. But anyway, yeah, I four times resist that actually, thanks to being dragon and water type there, so good on you, Kendra. Why do I need more crits there when he's low health? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like them and all. Could use one, you know, last turn, but there you go. Okay, and one more. Oh, Token to be. Um, for this one, I actually want to bring in... Actually, no, I'll, I'll just keep, uh, Kendra in. I mean, really, it's a Togepi. It, it won't do that much, really. Although, it, it would have Metronome, so... Okay, it might do something. Or, you can use Sweet Kiss and not Metronome. Okay, I am not doing this confusion. Oh, Crassus. Come to visit. Come here. Hey, you good boy. Good boy. I have a visitor. That'll be a four-legged variety. Good boy. Hey, that'll be my uh, five and a half year old husky, uh, Crassus. How is he five and a half years old? I do not know. How does how does timing work? Also, our uh, younger husky, Pompey, is four and a half years old. How did that happen, by the way? Again, I do not know how time works. But they're so damn cute, I love them so much. <laughs> okay, takes care of price for badge number five. Technically, well, his levels are like a little bit higher than Chuck. Whoops. Than, uh, and less so than Jasmine. Um, but yeah, I deviated from my usual norm and fought him first before Chuck and uh, Jasmine there. But anyway, there we go. Get the Glacier Badge. And also UTM. Please be something good for somebody. Like Psychic, Psybeam, um, Flying Type Moon would be cool there. Um, we'll see. Okay, TM16 is normally Icy Wind, but we have instead Swift. <sighs> Don't want Swift. I don't like Swift. I mean, it's, it's okay, it's a normal type move. Never misses 60 base power, which is okay. Not great, but 
Well, I'll teach it to someone, I'm sure. I'm not sure who, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, who would it be even a good fit on, actually? Um... Let me see. Normal in Gen 2 is still considered physical. Uh, so it would not be really good for Steelix because he has low attack in general. Uh, let's see, who else? Crobat would be okay on. Charizard, eh. Lugia, eh, maybe. And then also Kingdra, there's a possibility. Actually, Kingdra has a great move set right now, so I think I'll leave him alone. Uh, Lugia is also pretty damn set up well. I can speak English. He's set up pretty damn well, I meant to actually say. Um, and yeah, Charizard, I mean, I, I could drop Scratch and give him Swift for a better normal type move. Um, actually, no, I'll give it to Crobat, so I can uh, drop Screech there. Yeah, I, I never use Screech at all, honestly. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then, yeah, HM's there. I'll teach them to, um, to jump off eventually, when I feel like it there. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll take care of this real quick. And actually, I think, yeah, I will call it a day after this. Uh, and pretty much by after this, I mean, well, right now. Alright, so, in summary for today, we took care of pretty much all the Mahogany Town stuff there. And, of course, we just beat Price. Uh, next stream, we'll work our way towards the west, uh, towards Olivine City and Sinewood City. And hopefully, maybe get two more badges from both Chuck and Jasmine. And with that, guys, thanks very much for watching and stopping by. I appreciate it there. And yeah, again, better headset is on the way, so we should have non-robotic commentary hopefully tomorrow. Uh, if not, then Monday for sure. It'll be here by then. So with that, thanks very much for watching, guys. As a reminder, uh, streams are on most every weekday, 1 p.m. Central. If you want to follow the channel, by all means. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.